Capricorns. Um, this is your July uh, 2018 um, video. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a mid one or not, but we're just going to see how it goes. So anyways, this is for the month of July since it's already towards the end anyways. Um, I figured I'd do Capricorn because uh, I just did like a like a twin flame channeling talk or um, in a message I got and I don't know the message was just so serious like I was thinking about afterwards after I did it I was like wow that was very like you know is it Saturnian is that the word like very Saturn like authoritative and parental like and masculine um so I was like you know what this feels like Capricorn energy um, we're almost on the Capricorn, I think it's the Capricorn full moon. Um, so let's do Capricorn. Um, you have, it seems like you're really, I don't want to say being tested because I don't I don't know if that's really the right word. Um, you got some growth coming. And you're sort of fighting it or closing off to it. Um, it's coming anyways. So, I mean, you do kind of have that choice whether you want to make it easier or harder for yourself. Um... I just did a simple, simple cultic cross um, because this was like a spur of the moment reading and I was like, let's just do it and get it done since I'm sitting here. And you have for the central position, you have the Queen of Cups. This is my Halloween deck. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to be used and I, I liked the stuff in it. So you have the Queen of Cups, or I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know... I don't know, maybe you are being seen as a loving person and you're using your like intuition and your psychic, which you do have the high priestess in your foundation. So um, I, this definitely seems like a love or relationship reading. Um, it could be as far as work or some other venture. Um, I'm just going to take it as a love reading and I'm not going to flip flop it like you guys can flip flop it as needed. Um, but this is you, Capricorn, showing up. Queen of Pentacles, you know, trying to be grounded, sitting, you know, knowing, protecting what you've accumulated, like even the look on her face, I don't know if it'll get real clear, but you know, she's nice looking, but kind of that, like, hmm, I know, like, like I know better, um, kind of look on her face, like, I've been through a lot, um, I've had ex a lot of experiences, and I just know better. So, she just seems instead of being more in a receptive mode, she's in more of like a protective mode of what she has accumulated and put together. Uh, maybe I said Queen of Cups because it was like that's more of the energy maybe you should take on is to be more intuitive um, and in more of your receptive loving state. Um, I don't know. But there's a full moon here which is like looking down at her. So I feel like Especially this full moon. I mean, you'll probably feel a little bit more in your element than other people, but um, I think it's really, you know, testing your emotions and looking down at you to see what you're going to do. You're trying to be too grounded and protective and um, not really looking into your emotions enough. It's You're looking more, I feel, from that mindset of, Mm -hmm. I've, I, I know, I know better than this, or I've seen this before, or, yep, I'm ready. Um, and what's crossing you is 
the Page of Bats, which in this deck is the Page of Swords. Which, you know, he doesn't have a sword. It's a girl, actually. She doesn't have a sword. She just has, like, two bats. Um, but it's almost like in this card, it's like she's walking away and looking back at something. And so I think that's kind of what's crossing you or what you're maybe like being held up about or trying to figure out is, do I want to just call this a wash? Like, do I want to just walk away, um, kind of speak my truth about it? The Page of Swords can be a little bit immature in thought. So... You know, hopefully you're not making a rash type of judgment just based off you thinking you know better and not really looking in at your emotions and your intuition um, because it seems like you're thinking about walking away yet you're also looking back. I don't know if it's what is their reaction going to be or, you know, I hope they're okay or did I make the right decision? I don't really know. Um, in the foundation of the reading, you have the high priestess. So it's like, you know, not only telling you to use your intuition, like I said, with, because with the queen of, uh, there's the queen of pumpkins, but the queen of pentacles, I accidentally said queen of cups. And I think it's because it's wanting you to be more loving and, and be more in your intuition and your feelings about things and not in such a protective stage where the high priestess is like yeah use your intuition but in the past you know i'm sure you've probably dealt with manipulation lies secrets um things that you just really had to be careful of um and either look at things from a different perspective or wish you had um, like this, she's holding this bat. I don't know if you can see it. It's upside down. It almost reminds me of like a hangman vibe. Like she is just like, yeah, I use my intuition. Like I've, again, I've been in this spot before. I know better. Like I've been in this spot before. Like I've, I've, I've had to, I've had to be stuck in the hangman mode and, and learn this to look at things from a different perspective. And that's what I'm carrying forth now. Um, because in your recent past, you know, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is like something changed, something moved, like something switched in what was going on. Um, and... If you look, this guy is on the wheel and like he's all tied down and everything. Like he feels stuck. Like look at his face. Like he's like, oh snap. And he feels stuck. Um something changed either in the physical or in your mind that changed that is now making you feel stuck. Like you realized something or saw something and you feel stuck and you may want to go. And another card that came out almost like, I want to say the overall energy of the card, but it, it it's not the underneath of the deck. It's like another card that wanted to come out to explain things. And that's the five, five of pumpkins, but the five of pentacles. And this person is like pulling this. So it was probably when you were younger that you experienced and he had to leave behind his bag of candy. And I don't know, he was hurt. Like someone was just pulling him along for their agenda and not his own. Like his needs didn't matter. This little kid's needs didn't matter. It was about... This other person who was like, I don't care, we gotta go. Like, it doesn't matter about your candy. Like, it doesn't matter about your needs. It's just about my needs. 
So something happened that left you out in the cold, you know, just troubled, like in your environment and whatever happened. Your overall energy for the deck is the two, the two of cups, two of ghosts, but two of cups. But you have like the two of cups, the knight of cups, the knight of pentacles, the page of Kent pentacles, the three of pentacles, like the eight of, um, eight of wands, the ace of cups. I mean, you have like, you have a lot of great cards as far as backing up whatever this is going for you. Um, but anyways, something made you really feel stuck. And now in your mind, you're thinking like, what do I do? You're really, really like protecting your heart. You, I guess, are trying to use your intuition, but it's like you really don't want to see the situation. You might be meditating, though, to try to figure it out, but I don't know. Because it's like she's trying to use her intuition by not seeing with her eyes. But it's also seeing that, like, she can just take the blindfold off and, and truly see. Um... I don't know. You, you're you're wanting to make a decision about something. At the same time, you're not wanting to make a decision. It's probably not an easy decision. But you're kind of at an indecision about something. And for your likely future, you have the Queen of Wands. You know, and someone's giving her some type of flower, well, her sunflower. But she's a lot more in her power and a lot more in a passionate state. Um, like, I don't know if I'm really going to be able to see, but her face, which is like, mm, mm, like kind of like that, is a lot different than this lady's face, which is way more like welcoming and just in the present moment um more in her power more passionate in nature and being given you know the flower and sunflowers are named that because they they face the sun they face um the sun so you know, maybe this person or something is offering you a sense of, like, the sun card. Like, things getting better or illumination and seeing, which I think you actually do have something coming about illumination. Um, so maybe it's like now you're in this mode instead because, like, you see now. Or, like, you've healed. You, you have been illuminated. Um... And maybe you're seeing a little bit more clearly. Maybe you're seeing past this pain that is trying to come and resurface right now. Um, for how you see yourself, you have the Page of Wands. So you're wanting to start, you are wanting to start some type of new kind of passionate beginning like I've like this is like the beginning of the journey so you're wanting to start a new venture or journey somewhere someone that has you know passion and that makes you feel alive again um it's kind of funny because I just kind of get this vibe like I don't know I get this self-sabotage vibe where it's you know I yeah I, I want this and then when it comes um you know you try to find what's wrong with it and, and clear that energy 
you know, but, but here we go. I, I want to go again because I really want this. It's like you want, you get, it's almost like you get high on the beginnings and wanting to keep starting it. But then when it comes, it becomes too much and you, you, you become in such a fear-based mode. Like this is completely a fear-based mentality. And it just kind of really seems like you're getting stuck in this fear-based mentality to where you're like, yeah, I want, I want new beginnings. Um, I want this fiery new start. And, and then when it comes, you kind of like, mm, I don't know. I see about this. I've got your number. Um, so this is how you see yourself anyways. Like you're wanting to start a new passionate or exciting venture in your life. You're wanting to go that route. What's in your environment or how others see you? I tend to kind of take it more as how others see you is the three of wands. So it's like, I think you're waiting for this too. It's like, this is what I want, but you're so waiting on it from an external source instead of going within and looking at your own emotions to get it. So you're kind of very codependent a little bit about it. So you are waiting, but at the same time, like now look, so here's you. No, I'm, 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 what are you talking about? I am passionate. I'm fiery. This is what I want. A fiery new beginning. I'm totally fiery. I'm passionate. This is what I want. And then the way others see you is like, just again, this grounded sign, which don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with grounded, you know, earth signs. But as far as passion goes, like you need that fire element too. And it's like, here you are. Yeah, I want the passion. I want this fiery, passionate beginning. But then here you are and you're just grounded. They've got their fire. They've got their fire. But you've extinguished your fire. Because you're like, I want to play it safe. I want to play it safe. And make sure that what I have, have stays around. Maybe grows too. It might grow slowly, but so what? I'm not willing to take this chance because this happened before. So I'm going to put out my fire for other people. But this, this is what I, this is what I see in my head. And this could be wrong maybe people's perception you of of you isn't right but something to think about you know here's what you see and here's what others see this is them with their flames standing right next to you and you've put yours out now that they're standing that and that's another thing now that they're standing next to you and people have come, you put your flame out. You by yourself, here's my flame because I want to attract somebody in. I've attracted somebody and I put my flame out. Because I know better. And you, you felt stuck. Like, what did it get too real? Did it get too real for you? Was it not exactly what you envisioned? Did you not want to do the internal work? Did something happen to where, you know, well, well that would just take too much work. I'd either, I would be unhappy or they wouldn't fit in. That would take too much work. So I'm just, I'm just going to put my flame out as far as they can see so that they back up and go somewhere else. And I'll just sit here with this in my mind, telling myself that lie. Uh, this is coming out very <laughs> Saturnian or whatever, very Saturn energy, but it is what it is. Don't lie to yourself. You know, this is your ruling planet. This is your own. This is all you. So this... This is what you're bringing to other people while you're thinking you're like this. You're, you're, you're a buzzkill a little bit because you're trying to be safe in your fear-based mentality. 
Why? I don't know. Are you losing control of things? You feel like you're losing control? Is love one of those things you can't control? Capricorns are one they don't like to lose control. Like you only in their in their career or something, they usually have control. They're able to be grounded about things. And love is very much one of those energies that's very hard to ground. You can ground it and make it in physical form. But it's very hard to ground and say ground. It's not supposed to be. It's watery. And yes, water complements earth. But it's supposed to move and be more fluid than earth. You have to become more fluid. You have to lighten up. Don't be a buzzkill. Okay? And don't be so like, like pointing your finger at everybody else either and not looking in the mirror and not looking at what things mean to you or what they mirror to you or just stop always looking at everybody else. Look at yourself. Do I just get this vibe like you're not? Like exactly like this two of cups right here is like they're really seeing eye to eye. The overall energy of this and what's going on and, and is going to be going on for you is trying to get you to really see eye to eye with somebody and I think accept them for who they are allow them to accept you for who you are and to grow together to heal through this past hurt that I'm sure you're not the only person who's going through it or has gone through that your hopes and your fears is the four reversed. I think you're fearing that you're going to be made a fool of, that you're going to make a wrong decision either way. Hey, yeah. watch out for that. That either way, you're going to make a wrong decision, whether you end it or keep it going. You fear your decision. You fear this coming out. Why? Chances are because you don't trust yourself. Because you didn't trust the other situation and you didn't get your lessons from it and you didn't see what it was trying to show about yourself. So now you don't trust yourself. You're just stuck in a fear-based mentality. So either way, you're you're like, I'm, I'm going to make the wrong decision. Either way, I'm screwed. But hey, at least if I cut it out, I don't know. It's less hurt than if somebody does do something to me then at least I hurt myself instead of someone else hurting. How is that better? I mean, really think about that. How is it better to hurt yourself than to have somebody else hurt you? Like, cause you, you were better than that. Like that's an ego thing. That's very egoic to be like, yeah, I knew better. And they didn't hurt me. But the most important relationship that you will ever have while on this journey beside your one with source above you violated it's really honestly better to hurt yourself than to chance taking that risk and being vulnerable And then getting your lessons from that if it didn't work out, that someone else hurt you or it just was supposed to be that way and you must have learned some lesson. You would literally rather hurt yourself. Like, I don't know if you get it, like how I get it about how horrible that perspective is. But out of anybody in this world, in this earthly world, you're supposed to be there first and foremost for yourself. And you're like, well, at least I, if I make a wrong, a wrong decision, it was me who hurt me and not somebody else. So, hmm, good, you know, I kept myself guarded. It doesn't hurt as bad if I do it, someone else doesn't. And if it doesn't hurt as bad as if you do it, it's, it then someone else doing it, you got a lot of work to do and a lot of stuff to look at about yourself that it is so, why is it so easy to hurt yourself? Why is that so acceptable? Because you don't want to face this again. 
because somebody else at some time told you you weren't valuable or you weren't worthy or you weren't good enough and now you believe it so it's nothing to hurt yourself because you're not anything anyways. By the way, the other thing you fear is not a new beginning because you feel stuck like Chuck and you don't want to feel the way you feel anymore. By the way, this recent past of feeling stuck has nothing to do with this person or this situation. That's a projection. This is you. People around us or our situations reflect what is going on with us. They're a mirror. So if somebody is reflecting to you and making you feel stuck, then you already felt stuck. They are just an energy that has come in to either show it to you, bring in a different energy for you, and hopefully help you transmute it and heal. Another decision you have to make. Besides just the one you've already been trying to make. Do I or don't I want my life to change? Because if you've been feeling this way and telling yourself this, yet doing this, do you want your life to change? Or does it feel safer to just sit like this, guarded and protected and knowing better and not chancing ever feeling like this? She has accumulated stuff too, the Queen of Wands. And they both are great queens. But especially between these two queens and this card, this one has stuff accumulated. But she has a lot harder of a look on her face. And she has nobody with her besides animals. This queen has a lot more content of a look on her face and is a lot more passionate and she has somebody with her. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to have someone with you to be happy. But you're not happy. This isn't keeping you happy either because this is how you feel. Why not try something new? You've already experienced everything. The only reason that this hurt so bad back then was because you didn't have a concept of anything else to compare it to. You were younger when it happened. Whenever we're younger, we always feel like the world is ending. It's the biggest thing in the world. How are we going to go on? And your mind wasn't, wasn't developed enough to process it correctly. And you weren't connected to spirit as much. Although when you're younger, a lot of times you are more connected. But children always misprocess things. And they're so set on egocentrism or whatever, focused on themselves. That's what kids are supposed to do. That everything's about them. And it's always their fault. And it's all about their wants. And, and the world is all about them. And if something goes wrong, it's going to come crashing down. It is time to let this happen so that you can reprocess things. You don't have a correct perception. I mean, look at this. You're like, oh yeah, I'm protecting myself. This is good, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm doing. I want love. Oh wait, look, people came. Psst. Out goes the flame. And I'm willing to hurt myself because you're not gonna hurt me. You're not gonna hurt me. I know better. I know, I know better than that. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. I'm so smart. I'm going to hurt myself. Okay. Your likely outcome is temperance. So healing. So you're, you're going to try. <laughs> I think you're going to try to stay uh, how you are and protect yourself. But it's not going to fully flow that way, whether it's because of this person or spirit or whatever. Um, you're you're going to bring healing and you're working on something. I don't know if it's because 
you did end up something and walk and something and walk away and then you realize something and you're like oh crap and now you've got to like concoct a plan to like put it back together or and then you heal or if just through all this and the person working with you um you heal I might pull a clarifier on this to see um, what action was taken by Capricorn. And you have conflict. Leave it. <sighs> My cards are flying all over the place tonight. It's ridiculous. kind of I kind of get this vibe I don't think something big happens as far as like a big ending um but maybe like a break to like think and reassess because there's just so much conflict going on even within your head like you're so stern about it like here's conflict just going back and forth this cat's even like all like i don't know i can't do a good cat hissing but no that's that's horrible forget i just did that but this cat is all like you know where they hunch up and stuff like that and then you've got like military person like you're being so strict about this like so like loosen up um like you I think you're really judging this person or this situation so much. Um, that. Tell me about the temperance card. Um, you had magician that kind of popped out. The first one was you have the ace of wands and then you have the page of pump, you know, like new beginnings. So, like I said, the feeling that I'm getting from it is that, you know, there was a lot of conflict and I, I don't know if it was a complete breakup, um, or a, or, or a break or a pause. Um, and probably some thinking or some type of enlightenment came to you. Some things you realized. Uh, maybe you realized that this stuck feeling didn't quite go away the way you had planned when you pushed this away from you. There is a lot of chemistry in this. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here, which... Considering this fear-based mentality is why you're probably, excuse me, trying to push this away. Um, you have time to go reversed, the fates, and mending. Which is pretty much this combination is like, it's either telling you not to go, or it's telling you that time to go reversed is like, you think this situation is done. Either you're pretty sure you're going to end it or it has ended or with the break or whatever, but it's, it's not, it's going to come back around. And, you know, 
this situation like fades like it's faded like this is what you're supposed to be doing and when you look at like the relationship part of this it's about how are you trying to fit others into a mold of your expectation in a relationship like are you being fair with this are you looking at yourself but loving somebody for who they are and then you know if you you guys grow and do whatever but you shouldn't say we can grow once you fit into this mold it's about loving and seeing somebody eye to eye for who they are and then the both of you growing and healing because both of you had had experiences in your life that you guys are having to come out of and learn and reprocess from not just them or not just you but it's it's accepting unconditional love do you want to be accepted with unconditional love will you not hear did you feel judged and then you felt not good enough and you didn't feel that unconditional love? Kind of weird, huh? It seems like you're projecting because you didn't feel it at one time and now you don't feel that and you feel that lack from others. And now it almost seems exactly like that's what you're doing to this person or situation. And this situation is supposed to come to help mend things. Mend between the two of you and mend things and heal within your life. Um, you have romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal affection and attention. And the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from back from the problem. I'm sorry. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. So... Stop withdrawing, stop closing yourself off, talk, interact, show love, and focus on what can be done or what's right instead of what's not. I don't have any indication that there's something wrong with this here, and this may not be for everybody, so, you know, apply it to your life and if it resonates and all that, but all the cards that came up were all somebody who is there and willing to work with you. They're present. They might have hang-ups too that they're working through, but they are there and present and working with you. You have the microcosm sea monsters. I think I'm going to read this to you just because I think they can even do, do more justice than I would. But I'm going to try to hurry for time's sake. But you have be careful bottling up your inner demons. On the outside, you are calm, but inside, you are hiding tumultuous emotions. You are wasting a great deal of energy keeping these incest, incensed monsters contained. You are wasting your faculties trying to make everything appear okay on the surface when really you are hurting internally. Resolve what is inside of you. Make peace with your past so that you can move forward with goodness and light in your heart. Make peace with your present self, even if it's not ideal. Know that... It is within your uh, power to make changes to yourself, but only slowly and with great effort. Take steps to change what you can and make peace with what you cannot. When your interior finally reflects your exterior, you will at last be ready to face the world. Again, like I said, projection. So don't bottle up your demons and what's going on with inside of you. And you have Auto Mermaid which is natural change is coming. Like I said, you, you've got a change coming. Mm -mm, you got to change. Yep. Yep. Cause you're going to, you're going to become this queen of wands. Huh. I think you had another plan and, uh, but I think you have a hand in when it changes. So that's good. Uh, natural change is coming. Change is inevitable. We are all exposed to the cyclical pattern of nature. At times we rejoice at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be easy to wallow in self-pity, pining for the warmth and light of summer. But colder, darker days will come, and it is important not only to brace yourself for them, but to also embrace them. Be prepared for a natural change that might seem negative on the surface. If anticipated properly, this change may be a pleasure when embraced. Each season of our lives bring joy, sorrow, new activities, and duties. Preparation is key. Look ahead to what nature is bringing you and busy yourself with plants.
I think it's saying that like, you know, this is, this is growing anyways, I feel like, and it's up to you whether you want to make this into something negative or positive. And as of right now, you're making it into something that's negative. So, um, water elementals, I'm not going to read that. That pretty much is everything becomes balanced like water. Like I said, like it flows. Like, I think that you start out bottling up your emotions, being in this fear-based mentality, something changes, you know, with your wheel of fortune here and, um, something changes this. You went from negative Nancy to uh, some change in perspective and hopefully you start to see it positive and that helps to balance everything out, which matches out with your outcome because here's your temperance, which is not only you healing and becoming balanced, but it looks like you're concocting something up. So I don't know, maybe some apologies are in order or a show of love or something like that because I don't know what you did. But, and then your overall underlining energy is, um, like I said about the enlightenment, illusion, illu illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion are commonplace in this world, but do not worry. Illumination is coming in the form of a new way of viewing your environment or situation. Some call it divine insight and others enlightenment. Either way, be prepared for a new perspective. A sudden shift in thinking will arise from the uncovering of unknown facts, opinions, or desires. These new points will help you understand where you are now and help you to answer some of the questions that have been gnawing at you for some time. Be prepared, though. The illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you do not miss out on the illumination you have been waiting for for so long. I, th I think this illumination also comes with you deciding, like, what do you want? I think that actually came up with one of your romance cards that, like, try to come out, like, decide, uh, decide what you want soon so that it comes. Um, you need to decide what you want. Do you want to be happy or do you not? Is this serving you anymore to be locked down in rigid what does Capricorn have to do for them? Okay. So you have the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Connect. Connect to Source, Divine, whatever, whatever your thing is. Meditate, but listen to your intuition. You've got a lot of cards here about intuition. You again have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, she has the same stern look. Um, okay, so I get it now. So you have the High Priestess, and then you have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, she has the same stern look as this other Queen of Pentacles, and she's only surrounded by animals. And she's like... But on the other side of it, she has the Empress, which is like, uh, like in your power. And you also elevate, so... Um, you know, you go from the, the two to the, um, if you, if you do the high priestess, you, you go to the, to the empress, which not only go, do you go from two to three, but I mean, that, that is a rise up. You rise up from the queen of pentacles to the empress and the empress is a mixture of all the queens. So again, here you go from the queen of pentacles to the queen of wands. So if you allow this situation to do what it has come in your life to do, it will allow you to rise up. You will utilize this high priestess energy using your intuition, going within, listening within, and connecting to your higher source. And it will take you from this to this. This lady has animals all around her, but she is, she looks like she, uh, looks like she needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. This lady has animals all around her. And she's got the light. She's sourcing all the light. All the animals are sitting there just chilling. Like these animals around her are protective. They're protective animals. These are all different types of animals. 
you've got protective, you have the snake here for like the Kundalini, the rising of the divine feminine energy, finding your feminine energy. You have ones that can fly above and see the situation. You have the wolf using your instinct, also protective, family nature. Three of Pentacles, work together, cooperate together. You also had the hangman looking for a different shift in perspective. Uh, all right, so let's pull a healing card and then we're going to be done with this reading. I think this change is coming for you either way, but I really hope you allow it. Because if you do and you allow this vulnerability to come, it's going to be great for you. What healing card do you have for Capricorn for July of 2018, please? So you have appetite, appetite, uh, acceptance. Works at the interface between consciousness and matter to let go of what is outworn in your life. Being like this because you have this fear-based mentality. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and deficits. Recognize these without judgment exactly stop projecting this stuff look within and go within and heal these wounds this person is going to too but you're judging them and projecting them because you're not looking within recognize these without judgment move away from aloofness or social alienation and show others who you truly are be vulnerable use your purse pers or purse, per, purse, acacity, I don't know, P-E-R-S-P-I-C-A-C-I-T-Y, purse, pisacity, cassidy, I don't know, anyways, you have much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good, be inspired, discern truth within, recognize what is real in your world and, and restructure your reality, don't be deceived by false fronts, See what is beneath your own false fronts. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things move steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others. Teach what you know. Your intuition knows what's best for you. Um, talks about meditating and um, the trigonic, trigonic, tri, trigonic chords. I can't talk tonight. The soul's code. Recognize the multidimensional breadth of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate, renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul traumas. <laughs> And the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual energies to integrate the light body. Right. So awareness of multi-dimensions. And that's what this is going to be allow you to do with the meditating. And bo both of these are about rising to higher frequencies. Okay. So, you know, this is, this is up to you. Um, I don't know, actually. Um... Yeah, that's funny because I was going to be like, you know, I don't know. We don't have the tower, but, you know, then the major arcana of the judgment came out. You, you are being called to rise up. Like, this is definitely a faded, a knowing karma, um, learning of a lesson, judgment day. Like, I think you're making a judgment too, but I think you're being forced to, like, see a different judgment to 
allow yourself to rise to rise up, like to stop holding yourself back. Yeah, see it says like rise. I don't know if you could see it. And then over here it says awaken sleeper. You need to like wake up and stop being asleep about this and stop being asleep about yourself. Like I don't know if this is it fully in you. Like you're going to have your stuff that's going to help, but there there are energies that are helping you outside of you. Um and this situation, this is like I said, it it's a faded situation. Um, so it's meant to heal you. It's meant to rise up. Uh, it might be a little bit painful. I don't know. To be honest with you, I think most of the pain you're going to go through if you do is going to be because of you. Uh, and you would be more, you would actually be in more pain if you didn't go through this anyway. So just embrace it and go through it and, and go through these things from the past. And, and, and actually here's a thought, show gratitude. Show gratitude that you have somebody who is willing to offer and work with you so that you do not go through this alone. Show a little bit more gratitude. Okay? I mean, chances are a lot of you are walking around like, no, I'm a grateful person, blah, blah, blah and you might be. But you rejecting something like this and just trying to limit and keep your mind closed. And I have compassion for why, why you are. But you have somebody there. It, it's not, I, I don't get this vibe like you have somebody who is just messing with you. You have somebody where both of you are in this and you both have things to learn and grow together. And by all the cards I saw on underneath the deck, I mean, you had like the two of cups, the eight, the ace of cups, the knight of cups, the knight of pentacles, the three of pentacles, all cards that are signifying somebody is standing there and working with you. So if you, if I were to think logically right now, I mean, I'm not in your situation, but the way things look, it just looks fear-based mentality. It's like you're trying to find stuff wrong. Anytime you try to find stuff wrong, you will find stuff wrong. Are you trying to focus on what's right and how things can grow? So that you really can be sitting there like this and really turn into becoming into your power. Don't limit yourself and don't run, don't run from it and don't stop hurting yourself for the love of God. Love yourself more than that. Learn this lesson. Move forward. Rise up. You're hurting anyways. Okay? You're hurting anyways. You're stuck anyways. Do the work. You're a Capricorn. Do the work. This is what you're bringing to this situation. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. I hope this works out for you. I hope you get the message. Uh, if you didn't like all this, think about it. But I really hope this all works out for you. Enjoy your full moon. Um, this is a serious full moon. Jesus. God. But anyways, enjoy it. I'll see you guys shortly. Thanks for everything. Uh, I hope this helps somebody. Please leave in the comments if this helps you, how it applies. I don't really care about, I mean, let's not go negative or whatever, but I mean, I'm just not going to pay attention or delete them. Anyways, I'm not going to focus on that anymore. Just tell me if it helps you out. Um, 
like it, share it, comment, um, whatever. Let me know what, what, what you think. Like, what's your situation? Does this resonate at all? Um, anyways, I love you. Keep your head up. Meditate. Go within. Listen to your intuition. I think you guys have, like, really good stuff coming for you. Healing. Rising up. Leveling up. I mean, what Capricorn doesn't like leveling up? And working yeah I know it's hard when you work inside that's really hard I get it but the external external work is done internal work now begins enjoy I love you guys bye